Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Bonky Kukir, a.k.a. Your Lonely Achievement God Continuing, are from 0 to 1,000 Achievement Walkthrough of Lawn Mowing Simulator. This is part 4 of the career mode. We are blazing a trail through the game. So far, we have uh, purchased the Toro motor and are now have two employees minions to bend to our will as we go through the game we're again focusing on making sure we have our printed magazine ad advertisements and training up our uh initially an apprentice employee all the way to expert we've almost finished our training and now we're just focusing on getting the most lucrative contracts or finding ones that have valuables or achievements tied to them good news we have a litter contract, folks. I'm going to show you how to do your litter contracts, and we'll assign our employees to the other more financially lucrative contracts that are on the board. I never let them use the Toro motor unless, um, unless I'm feeling generous. The Toro motor is mine. Mower is mine. So, litter contracts are literally <laughs> just more elaborate ground check item uh, phases. You usually have between 8 and 15 items to pick up instead of, you know, normally anywhere from 3 to 7 or so in uh, gr ground checks. And you just do the same thing you do for ground checks. You run around, pick up all the items. Um, if there are valuables, uh, you can grab them in litter contracts. However, it, they no longer respawn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Initially, when the game launched, the litter contracts would respawn the valuables, so you could actually glitch the con uh, achievement out. But it doesn't do that anymore, so you can uh, no longer exploit that for your... Uh, to make things easier on you, unfortunately. But if there are valuables in the contracts, you can go and pick them up just like you do in mower contracts. Litter contracts give you significantly less money, but they also are significantly faster to complete than the uh, mowing contracts. So if you are at a point where you feel like skipping ahead faster, always have your person doing the litter contracts if they show up. And then you can just have your employees working on the more financially lucrative contracts. Once you get all 12 items, all you do is return to the van and hold the A button on the door for a couple of seconds. And that'll finish the contract. And as you can see, we got 15 bucks for finishing it quickly. We got 30 bucks for doing the contract. And that adds up to $20.40 somehow. Okay. Not sure how that works. I was a math major for a little bit, and I don't know how those numbers end up coming from the numbers on the post-contract screen. But... We'll just continue on. We got some money from our other partners there, and we'll get an achievement for completing our first litter contract. And we had our first loan installment. Now, this is where things are going to get tricky, and uh, I do want to point out there is an achievement for going bankrupt and coming back. So at any point, if your money goes negative when you start a week, uh, by next week, if you are back in the positive, you will unlock an achievement. Now, I have a plan at the end of our career mode to handle that achievement, but with the way we're handling things now, you may eventually run into a situation where you uh, go into the negative and have to bail yourself out. For the time being... I recommend getting all of the most financially lucrative contracts done yourself. That means uh, doing everything on your own. Even if the contracts are longer, you need 
to be able to pay back ten about ten thousand dollars every week which means you can't really afford to do too many of the litter contracts at this point your primary focus needs to be the three most expensive and financially lucrative contracts each week and it might not be a bad idea to have yourself doing the most lucrative contract for the time being simply because we don't have hey we have an expert never mind but uh simply because we don't have a lot of experts um what we're going to do is we're going to back out we're going to go to our robin reed employee and we're going to fire her and then we're going to go to our applicants and hire the expert oliver james we're going to reject edward just so we don't give him false hope so what you're going to do is whatever the most financially lucrative contract is give it to your expert doesn't matter what mower you give them we're actually going to be tackling this one rear lawns at the Crossley Riding School because we can get two valuables from this contract. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that one ourselves. RP value is really high. I actually kind of thought we might be getting a stripe cut there, but I guess not. And then we're going to be having, I believe, let me just double check here. Ah, nope, we'll have someone handle the Jefferson Garden. Reggie there. And we're going to go ahead and jump in. Um, I will be showing you the valuables, so don't go away here. Although, I mean, I guess I'm really in control of whether you go away or not, if you're watching this video. So what we're going to do is, before we even run in, turn around, and there's a ribbon on this billboard, and this was the most difficult valuable for me to find, because it kind of just looks like it fits. But... It is a valuable. This valuable can be accessed from any of the five uh, Crossley Riding School lawns. If you run around this little hub area, there's one, two, three, four, five different lawns that you can mow at the Crossley Riding School. Any of the five will allow you to get that ribbon. So you can get the ribbon at any of the Crossley Riding School lawns. I've purposely waited until this rear lawns uh, contract showed up because there's also a second valuable in the rear lawns that can only be accessed by doing the rear lawns contract so i i just wait until both of the contracts show up or i mean the rear lawns contract shows up because then we can just knock out both valuables at the same time but just keep in mind that you can at any point get the ribbon from any crossley writing school contract but the trophy you can only get by doing the rear lawns here once again we'll just run around until we find the final item and then we're gonna mow and this lawn is not gonna take long at all however I will rejoin you when we are done with it. And we're back, ladies and gents. As you can see, it only took us five minutes. Or you might not have seen that. I drove pretty quick. But it took us less than five minutes to get that lawn done. I did, unfortunately, have to repair our blades in the middle of the run because I've been lazy and not keeping up on maintenance. So... Don't do what I do, but we lost a little money for that. We did gain 300 bucks from the two valuables, and we got a good chunk of money coming in. We've reached the trusted rank, ladies and gents. We just keep on climbing those ladders. And I do want to check something. I don't think we can hire another employee yet but nope we're gonna have to wait another rp tier before we can do that but we do have adam hunter there who's an expert we're gonna hold on to him uh, for when we are able to hire and we're gonna go in and we're gonna train reggie in the final level of training and now we just have to wait reggie will continue to do contracts for us excuse me and we'll eventually in about 20 days or so, become an expert 
and we will get an achievement. So from this point on, we're just focusing on contracts now. In between runs, um, the only other thing you should really keep an eye on is your vehicle condition. So you don't have to pay a little bit extra when you're out in the field. And now just find the lawns you want to do. We have our first stripe cut. We'll be taking care of that with the uh, Skag Patriot. And then we'll just have... Oh, we had multiple good contracts show up this week. We're not going to tackle the rear garden at Rally Manor this week with anyone. We're going to hold off on it and see if hope it's still there next week because that contract uh, has a ton of achievement-related things in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have someone tackle the rear or the uh, former formal garden at Rally Manor. And we'll just have someone take care of the this contract here. Normally, again, I would have someone tackle the rear garden, but we want to do this, and occasionally contracts stick around for a few days if you don't get them done right away. And so our hope is that I'll be able to show you how to do the stripe cuts, and then next uh, tomorrow, well, actually, it'll be on Monday, but our next day of work, I will be able to show you the rear garden stuff because we need that lawn for multiple contracts so we're going to go ahead and jump into the next week and i'm going to show you the entirety of doing the stripe cut we're going to get uh, a multitude of achievements here so stripe cuts are very much like mowing except for there's one very big difference a stripe cut is cutting the lawn so that it looks like there's stripes Pretty basic you probably could have figured that out without me telling you if you ever watch some sort of professional sports most of them cut their arena lawns uh, in some sort of stripe pattern at some point and they do that by alternating the way they cut they have there's a special kit that they attach and we already attached it to our mower and what we're gonna do is once we get the ground check and get on the mower we need to of course do our entire setup here get down to seven centimeters increase the throttle and we're good to go you're going to hit the right bumper here and this is going to bring up arrows now the arrows aren't important don't let the arrows dictate what you're doing the arrows um are kind of just there to let you know what you're supposed to do. You don't have to follow them as an exact guideline. You don't have to cut in the exact way they are telling you to. And we're going to, for the most part, be ignoring the arrows. But it's you have to hit the right bumper in order for the arrows to show up. It drops the kit below the tiger stripe kit so that you can stripe the lawn when you're cutting. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the right bumper. I recommend doing these contracts in the over-the-top camera mode. It makes it much easier, and you're going to start driving and cutting as straight across as you can. When you get to the end, turn around. Make sure you are not turning on the lawn. You don't want to damage your stripes, and you're going to go the other direction. And this is how you get a stripe cut. Uh, in the upper right hand corner there you're going to see we have a progress bar and a stripe rating. And I've actually never engaged the blades, I'm a dummy. Okay, we're going to start over. Don't do what I did, don't worry, we have plenty of re leeway here, but we're going to drive forward. And you do have to be very cautious. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to activate the blades. You have to be very cautious in cutting. Um, because it's very difficult to clean up any grass you've missed in a stripe contract. And if we do well enough, I'll show you what I mean at the end of the video. But uh, you're just going to do this. Run back and forth, alternating your cuts. You don't have to cut the length uh, or width of the arrows. It gives you, you don't have to follow them in a pattern. That's all useless. All you really have to do is cut 
alternate the direction you cut as you go along the grass. And as you can see in the upper right hand corner we have a progress bar and the stripe rating. If you do overload your mower at all make sure you return to the spot or, or stop cutting excuse me and back up over the spot where you overloaded because as I said before uh, trying to go back and clean up what you missed is almost impossible in a stripe cut so make sure you're being careful of when your engine is overloading because it could cause you to uh, damage your stripe rating. For the sake of achievements, the only thing tied to stripe rating is we need to get a 95% stripe rating. If you follow along with that, I do, that will not be an issue. And this is all you're gonna be doing, ladies and gents, over and over and over for stripe cuts. Now, um, even for the challenges, 95% for the most part is all you're going to have to get for a stripe rating. Um, the very last expert challenge is a 99% stripe rating. So feel free to practice that now. See if it's going to be a problem for you. Um, because that is the ultimate challenge. Now, it is the last one. I don't think it's the most difficult of the challenges. But again, we overloaded our engine and backed up to to cut um, because it's very difficult to fix any mistakes we make after we're done so but it, you need to just be cautious as you can see we're staying our progress and stripe rating are exactly the same before we started cutting here so we're in good shape and of course, I do have a video up on my channel for the expert challenge that requires a 99% stripe rating. So feel free to take a look at that if you would like. But for the purposes of the career, we only need to get a 95% stripe rating. And that will unlock an achievement for us. This back lawn is the most difficult. Um, there's a section to our left here where it gets right up against the house. And that can be difficult, so. Um, when you're doing the stripe cut, you're probably not gonna go for the no collisions or fines achievement. Especially not on this, uh, not on this level anyways. But again, just make sure that if you do uh, overload your engine that you back up to clean up what you missed because you uh, it's very difficult to clean up what you're doing with the way we're doing it if you go and follow the arrows exactly then in theory you could uh, come back to fix the uh, mistakes that you've made but that's the only way you'd be able to. The problem you run into is that it's very difficult to remember which way you cut your lawn. So having to uh, recut if you've missed any grass is a chore. And uh, again, once we get done, I'll explain and show you guys why. There's just one singular fly who never dies, and it loves me, and it loves to harass me, and I hate bugs. 
like people love to go outdoors and do things and I hate it because I hate being harassed by insects. I don't hate bugs. I realize they exist and have to. And I'm fine with them if they would leave me alone, but they don't. They love me for some reason, probably because I, I don't like them. It's usually how that works, right? Luckily, our seven months of winter will be coming up soon, and then they will all die in the cold. Honestly, I think that's one of the reasons I just don't care for warm weather. It's because when I go outside, I can be harassed by bugs. And in the cold of winter, there are no bugs. Occasionally you get a spider. I don't mind spiders. They kill bugs. But again, they just need to stick to their space and I won't bother with them. I used to be really freaked out by spiders. That's something I've had to deal with. And, I mean, I'm still freaked out if one were to crawl on me. But, for the most part, I just coexist with them. Just wish one of them would kill this fly. And this is the glory of a stripe cut. First couple of minutes there was a lot to say, and these last couple of minutes there is not. There is a point where the mower overloads, but still manages to cut, and then there's a point where it just stops cutting. So it, you kind of want to use headphones or have your TV turned up so that you can hear it when that happens. Because if you stop it quick enough, you don't have to back up to redo what you've cut. But if you're you're not using headphones or your TV is kind of quiet, then you... You may not hear it. We are almost done. Just this little section left to do. Again, we're going to back up to take care of everything. Um, you don't want to drive in stripes. Or you don't want to drive across your stripes. But as you can see, our stripe rating is almost perfect. got to a 99.8 stripe rating. So let's say there's grass in the middle. Let's see if it, I left any. It doesn't look like it. Let's say there's grass in the middle and you want to try to cut it. Watch the stripe rating. You see how fast that went down just from driving the wrong direction? That's what you have to avoid and that's why you can't afford to uh, try to go back to clean up any mistakes you make. That's why we, we've been backing up to go back and get the grass when we overloaded our engine. Because if you try to go back, you have to remember the exact path you took, um, which way you drove down the column and the length of the column so that you don't damage your stripes. So it's very difficult to go back afterwards without damaging your stripe rating. And the stripe rating... Uh, is important for achievements and very important for the expert challenges. So it's best to get used to being thorough your first pass. But we're going to go ahead to the post-contract screen in advance, and we're going to get quite a few achievements here. We'll get the jack-of-all-trades, which is for doing one of every type of contract, a litter, a regular mow, and a stripe cut. We'll get our first stripe cut contract. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That used to be a rare one. So that's the 95% or above stripe rating. That one used to be rare. It's not anymore. And we should have gotten the first stripe cut. There we go. Lawn and order. It just haven't, hasn't popped yet. That's been happening a lot on this account for some reason. I apologize for that. But we go ahead and jump forward. And as we covered last time, we have no more training to do. And we still have all of our print ads. So we're going to jump back in here. We now have the rear garden at Rally Manor, and we are going to attempt to get the achievement for completing a contract without any fines or penalties. So we're going to take that Toro Groundsmaster 3300 and select that, and then just find whatever contracts you want your uh, other employees to handle and give them those. Um, I did make a little bit of a mistake here. Make sure that your expert is handling the most lucrative contracts for now. Um, because you're employed, that way you'll get more of the money from them. Okay, we're going to jump in and I am going to show you the entirety of this contract as well. We're doing that a lot this episode. So what we need to do is firstly run forward behind this hedge here is a wallet and then we need to run down this is the lawn and this is why this lawn is perfect for doing this contract with any without any fines or penalties there are no walls nearby there are no flower beds or flowers nearby and the lawns aren't separated the one we just did the striping contract on has lawn like this where it's separated from everything else but there's four different lawns so i prefer doing it on this one um once we get the ground check done, we have to be very careful on this one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start the engine and drive down. We're going to go into first person mode and we're going to be very careful. Just tap the accelerator. And now we have to go through the gate. You can go into f the above the mower camera if you would like to, if that's more comfortable for you. And then we're going to drive down this section um so the only things you really need to worry about are hitting things going back and forth you need to back up onto the mo uh the trailer when you're done instead of driving straight on it so you don't get the 25 cent fine and i'll show you that and really the only other thing you need to worry about is not turning too sharply when you go through this because if you turn too sharply you can damage the ground um, there's no reason to be worried about running into things or cutting flowers or any of that stuff because there's nothing near the lawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our mower down to the 550. I like to just place it over the darker thing so I can see. And then we're going to drive. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to drive forward. Once we get to the end, we're going to turn a little bit to the left and we're going to back up to the right. And then we're going to turn again. When you get over to here on your first pass, go into the overhead view just to make sure you don't back up too far and start cutting again. And just be careful on this first pass. The first pass is the only one you don't have a lot of leeway. I'm gonna go back into first person camera now. And now you're basically good to go. Um, whenever you make an end, turn to the left a little bit, back up to the right, and go, and that's going to minimize your ability to turn too sharply. And that will, that's it. That's all you do for the rest of this level. Um, again, just over here, make sure that you don't back up into the wall. Your first pass or two, you have to be cautious about the walls over here. But uh, after that, you're relatively good to go. And we'll be done with this contract very quickly because of how well the Toro mower does. Now, you could do this if this contract showed up earlier and you had your night mower. We actually will be doing this with the night mower later, later on. But uh, for now, we're using our Toro mower to complete it in probably less than 10 minutes or so. 
Uh, this level is um, good for the deck size achievement, which we will be using it for. And then it's also the level we'll be grinding out our 100 miles driven later on. Um, but we'll cover that at the end of the video, so don't worry about it for now. As you can see, though, we're already almost to 50% and we're only three minutes in. Um, I have to assume this contract was simply put in to make the achievements a little bit easier because otherwise it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have this be a recommended 150 centimeter deck size lawn and um, to have it be such a considered such a difficult project I have to assume it was put in for the deck size achievement specifically because otherwise the parameters for this lawn don't really make a whole lot of sense The closer you get to the middle, the uh, sharper some of your turns are going to have to be. I mean, we're talking when you get to like 95% or so. But uh, So just be very careful when you get to the end because you don't want to accidentally damage the ground turning too sharply. Um, that's really... That and backing up onto the trailer are really the only two things we still have left to worry about. Again, it's easy to make a mistake and turn too sharply, so avoid doing that. Once the contract is complete, you're done mowing. Hit X, turn off the blades, and then we're going to drive back up. Once again, we need to squeeze through the gates over here. Once you do... I recommend going into top-down view again because now we need to back up onto the ramp. Just very carefully tap the reverse button and get up the ramp and then advance to the end. You'll see we got a hundred bucks for doing the wallet and we don't have a single penalty or fine so when we press a to advance we will pop the grass is always greener achievement for completing a career contract without earning a fine or penalty and now we need to wait for that contract to show up again but for now we're just gonna go ahead and get through the rest of the post contract screens um, we do need that contract at least once more. So that we can get the... Uh, 
uh, size doesn't matter achievement for completing it with a deck that is 50 centimeters smaller than the recommended size. But for now, we're just going to focus on more contracts. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to assign our employees all three of these. We're going to take this Adam's Apple Orchard. We're never going to do that one again. That one took us a while. So what we're going to do is assign our expert, excuse me, our expert to that one. We're going to tackle the orchard at Rowley Manor because while it says it's a 40 minute project, it's actually uh, significantly faster than that and it's a good payout. So we're going to go ahead and tackle that one ourselves and we're going to have our uh, final employee who's working towards expert tackle the paddock A here. And we're going to jump in and I will rejoin you when we're done with the contract. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see it took us about 16 minutes to do that estimated 40 minute contract for what? Almost three grand, I think it was. Yeah. We did good. Yeah, from this point on, the Toro motor can handle almost all of the big contracts relatively quickly. So, making bank today. And we don't really have anything else to worry about. For now, we're just moving forward so that we can pay off our loans. Uh, that's kind of the goal right now. Um, we also need to look out for the rear manor. The rear garden at Rowley Manor, if it ever pops up again. Um, we're going to handle... We're actually going to have someone else handle the orchard this time. We do have the expert will get 90% of the proceeds. Um, the garden at Orchard Cottage has overgrown, so we're going to have our employee handle that. And we're going to find ourselves a nice little contract to complete very quickly here. The Crossley Writing School is a very quick completion, so we're going to jump in and I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back. Under five minutes again for this contract. That's why I picked it. Got a decent amount of RP from doing it. Not so much money, but RP can be important to focus on if money isn't all that big of a difference between the contracts. So that's why we went ahead to do this, this one. going to have our uh, expert take care of the rear lawns at Coville and we'll have our training uh, apprentice in training although they're not an apprentice anymore handle the paddock there and we will take care of the Jefferson garden because it is the most expensive of the remaining contracts I believe yep And I'll go ahead and jump in and rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back again. Just under seven and a half minutes to the Jefferson Garden. You can compare that to our first run when we had the uh, night mower. And there's not really anything else for us to focus on. You can check your loans if you want. We still have to pay 26000 on each. That is quite a bit, so that's why we're focusing on the more expensive contracts. And we have absolutely none of those this week. We're going to go ahead and handle the Kingsbury Garden ourselves, and we will pass off the Jefferson to our expert. 
and I will rejoin you once again once we're done. Welcome back. Under seven minutes for that contract. Used to take us about 20. Uh, just under 18, if I remember correctly. We might have damaged a few flowers and run into a few things, but caution is for the birds. Nothing to do except get some more contracts, so that's what we're going to do. The rear garden at Rally Manor has shown up, but it is a stripe contract, which means we cannot do anything with it. So we're actually going to take the stripe contract. And we're going to have our expert handle the park contract and we're gonna have our apprentice to be we're lucky enough to use our toro to do that contract and we will jump forward here um, i'm not going to show off this stripe cut but i will rejoin you when i'm done welcome back ladies and gents took us about eight minutes i think to do the stripe contract another contract in the books we'll skip ahead here get some decent money Another day or two and we will rank up again. But for now, we're just going to keep focusing on doing the lucrative contracts. Um, so we're going to have our expert do the training field. We're going to have... Our trainee and our, our apprentice to expert trainee do the formal garden. We're going to tackle one of these contracts to get it done really quickly. We're going to try to avoid the litter contracts because they don't give us a ton of money. And right now we need money more so than anything else. So we'll go ahead and jump in and rejoin you when we're done. And we're done. We had a little bit of a mistake with some blades, so it took us like nine minutes instead of the usual seven. Unfortunately, that's why you got to keep up on your upkeep of your blades. And we've re reached the professional rank, ladies and gentlemen. This is very important. Because now we will start unlocking the expert challenges, as you saw there. But we can also hire another employee. Now what we're going to do is we're going to purchase a second Stiga Estate 2084, the cheapest mower. And now we have four employees that we can work towards. Go ahead and reject every uh, applicant that is not an expert. So that more... Uh, applicants can come in and now we have four employees that we need to put to work each week for now just follow what we've been doing make sure that your uh your experts are doing most of the heavy lifting on the most expensive contracts so that you're getting the most money out of them We have two litter contracts, so we're going to handle one of them. We have not done Ripley Park yet. So we're going to go ahead and pick the cafe area, and I'm going to show you the two valuables that are located in Ripley Park. Real quick while that's loading, let's double check here. I believe this is the valuables achievement right here for 68%. And I think this one is, they might be, uh, this one is probably the 250 ground items. So we'll just take a look at those after we're done here. So wherever you spawn in, there are three different contracts that can happen in Ripley Park. You need to orient yourself. The first valuable is under this little covered area on this rounded metal bridge. Someone left a cell phone there. Turn around from here, and on the other 
end of the decorative building in the center, which I assume is some sort of information center, there's a playground on the hill over here. On the right side of the entrance to the playground, someone left some headphones. You can grab both of those and then return back to where we were. You'll see all of the... Uh, in this area, as I said, there are three different locations for the contracts. Now, when you're doing litter contracts, you can tell where you need to look because the grass is really tall in the non-area. So where the grass is short is where your litter contracts are taking place. When you're doing mowing contracts, you can use the pro view to figure out where the grass you need to cut is. But for the uh, litter contracts, you need to keep an eye out for where the grass is short. And that will tell you where you need to look. We actually picked a fairly big one. We probably should have done the Dutchman's one instead, but no big deal. I'm going to go get this one done. I suppose at this point there's not really anything else to show you guys and gals, so I'll be back. And we're back. Didn't take too long. But there was no reason for you to sit and watch all of that with me. Once we get back in here, just real quick, we'll take another look. 68% and 51%. Let's skip ahead and go back in. Eighty-one percent, so that is the valuables achievement, and fifty-six percent, so that is the ground objects achievement. Just for future reference, we repaid another bunch of our loans. The good news is we now have four employees, so we can do four contracts. The bad news is we do tend to start seeing a lot of the. Uh, litter contracts now which give you little to no money so what we're going to do is we're going to assign our experts to the most lucrative contracts have you take care of that and we have to do another litter contract we're gonna go ahead and do the dutchman's this time and i will be back with you when we're done welcome back ladies and gents we did 25 68 and 30 and got 43 cents. What? What? How does that make any sense? Okay. If the uh, devs happen to see this, you might want to redo y the money from your litter contracts there. And one of our employees called in sick. We should just fire them and move on. Unfortunately, we cannot. We do have some excellent mowing contracts today, though. So we're going to have our experts. Handle those two. We're going to handle the paddock here. And I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Under 20 minutes to complete that one. Getting a decent amount of money. If 
I noticed my mic was muted. I do apologize if the rest of the video is quiet. I'm going to try to reinsert my audio if it was in fact muted for most of this video. I think I bumped it when I was moving things around, but I do apologize. There might be a bit of a jump in tone and everything like that. Um, or <laughs> maybe everything recorded fine and I'm just overreacting, but I do want to point out that I just noticed my mic was, mic was muted when I went back to the recording, so I don't know how long it's been muted. And if it was muted, you may hear a different tone in audio in the previous portions of the video when I, I have to re-record my audio, so... But again, we have f a couple days till we need any new uh, advertisements, so we're just going to go ahead and work on some more contracts. The problem you'll notice there, ladies and gents, is that we have two stripe cuts, but we only have one mower that can do stripe cuts. So, uh... We're going to be assigning an, <clears throat> excuse me, one of our employees to a litter contract and we're going to be doing the other one. So I will rejoin you when we're done. So this time, for some reason, we have $22.19 and $30 for a grand total of $38.11. I have no idea what math they're using for this. Maybe I'm running over flowers or something like that? I don't know. Regardless, we'll just keep plugging along. We ha we have to keep going until we can pay off our loans. Um, we can't really do anything else until those loans are paid off. So, so we got uh, the second stripe cut. So we'll go ahead and have our employee handle that. I do want to double check here. We're at 37 days. It's probably going to be closer to 45. Um, our employee did take a day off, and I think we hired them a little early. So if you hire them right away and they're in your service for a couple of days before you purchase the vehicle, you might be looking at 40 to 45 days of employment before they reach expert, just so you're aware. We'll have uh, our other expert take that. And we're going to repair our mowers here. Now we'll fi finish our contracts. We have a 4.30 and a 4.05. I think we're going to have our employee take that one. And we're going to go ahead and do the litter contract. And I will rejoin you when we're done. And we're back. Again, weird math. I don't know how that works. Check your applications. If there's an expert, keep them. If not, reject all of them. We do have one more employee to hire eventually, so we need to make sure there is room for an expert applicant. Also, keep check on your ad, uh, your ads. As you can see, we have two, three, and four days remaining, so 
Um, make sure you're double checking every week just to be sure that your ads are going through fine. And we're going to do the litter contract again, and I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Another week of repaying loans. Our goal is to try to get about 11k per week, 11 to 12. That allows us to repay the loans and cover all our weekly fees. So... But we're going to be looking eventually at being able to pay off one of the loans. But we can't do that until we have probably about 25k on us. You want to have 6k more than you're paying off. Just so you can make sure that when the next payment goes through, you can afford to pay off the other two. Because you're paying, what, 3250 3, every week. So, um, so at this point, we, we would need to get like... 25 to 26 thousand in order to be willing to pay off one of these loans for future reference what we're going to do now is once again go back and look for some contracts and they are really not being kind to us here We're going to do another litter contract, I guess. We don't have a choice. Fairly rude, but I will rejoin you when we're done. Sorry about that, guys and gals. I got a little bit further ahead of ourselves than intended. When we jump back in here, we're going to hold off on uh, purchasing more of the advertisements at this point. Um, simply because we're kind of balancing the finances from the loans. So we don't want to get ourselves financially in too deep. So for the time being, do not purchase any more of the loans. We're just going to focus on doing some more contracts. And hopefully we can get a couple like this orchard here, where we get a couple grand. That's what we're hoping for. And we're going to take care of Wildflower Hill here. With the Toro, it will not be a very long job. And since our employee is out sick, we can't really have them do it. So, I will rejoin you when we're done. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Twelve and a half, over, almost thirteen minutes to complete the contract. And we're moving forward another day. Before we purchase anything, make sure you're looking ahead at to what the other contracts are. Oh, there we go, ladies and gents. We're going to take care of this before we do anything else. We've managed to get the rear garden at Rowley Manor. This will be the last thing we do. So what we need to do is we need to go to one of our Stiga mowers. We need to part exchange it up to the Knight OFS1. And what we need to do now is we need to tackle the rear garden at Rally Manor using the Knight OFS-1. Just follow what you would do for the other contracts with your other employees. And once that's all done, we're going to jump in and we're going to complete this contract with the knight. We're going to get the size, does, uh, what is it, size doesn't matter achievement, I believe. It's going to take us 15 to 20 minutes or so to uh, mow this lawn. 
Um, I'm probably not going to stay with you because you get the general gist of what we need to do here. There we go, once we're all done. We don't have to worry about fines or penalties here. But we do have to deal with how much slower this mower is than the other one. I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut. Once we get down here, we need to get it down to a 5 centimeter or lower, or five and a half or lower. So we're gonna do five, and we're just gonna start cutting. Um, as I said, this is probably gonna take you about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but once I'm done, I will rejoin you. Welcome back, ladies and gents. We completed the cut to the point that they needed us to. When I first started, I was OCD about finishing everything, but for the purpose of achievements, you don't need to be. When the contract, when the game says the contract is done, run away. Right off into the sunset, extremely slowly. It really does feel like you're crawling when you go back to the night mower from the Toro. Once you're done, climb up onto the ramp, finish the contract there. And once you skip forward, sizes and everything. Achievement will unlock for you, ladies and gents. And that's all we got. I'm going to stop there. That's the end of, what is this, part four of our... From 0 to 1,000 achievement walkthrough of Lawn Wing Simulator. We're actually getting fairly close here. We only have 15 achievements left. Some of them are getting very close. I think those are the ground objects. Um, that's the valuables. Um, we still have a bit to do, but we don't have a lot more that is hands-on left. So we'll probably have one or two more videos, depending on how quickly we get through this next portion here. Um... But for the most part, we're, we're kind of reaching the home stretch, which is weird because we're only, you know, a month and a half into the game. But uh, I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or comments for me, as always, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But if not, I'll see you guys next time.